Good evening. Tonight I shall narrate a glitch in the Matrix experience for you. Now sit back and relax. Author name Enslay Gorth. Story title I'm in the UK and my car radio picked up a station out of Nevada. Time didn't feel right and I still have the chills right now. This was just a few hours ago. I can't stop thinking about it. The whole experience was extremely strange. My two-year-old daughter was meant to be having her weekly custody night with her dad last night. Taking kids between parents' houses is currently permitted under the virus's restrictions. Usually, she's fine with him, but he rang me at 1.30 a.m. saying that she was coming down with something and was very anxious and screaming at me. He stated he'd given her medication and done everything he could think of to calm her, but she just wanted me. It was clear he wasn't doing well, so I asked if he wanted me to come over and get her, and he said yes. He lives 10 miles away, so I wasn't very happy about having to go, but of course my daughter needed me, so I had a quick coffee and hopped in the car. A good portion of the route is pretty much on the motorway, highway, and I only remember seeing two cars on there as I got onto it. I presumed key workers on a night shift. I usually get irritated by music in the car, but it was so eerie, and I also wanted to keep myself awake, so I just put on a generic top 40 station that was playing ads. As I got to my junction, I remember suddenly jolting and having this weird feeling of Wait, I'm here already? I remembered going into the motorway and putting the radio on, and then suddenly it was time to pull off. Usually I'd have been on the motorway for 10 minutes. You could just say that because nothing significant happened, and I was tired. My brain just saw no reason to log the journey. But around halfway between my two junctions, there's a huge sewage plant right next to the motorway and you can always smell it very strongly, even if the windows are up. Usually on this route, I know when I'm approaching it and hold my breath. Seemingly last night though, I just went past it without acknowledging it. Get to my ex's soon after, and I pick up my daughter. I have coffee in this kitchen while he gets her stuff ready because I'm worried and too tired to drive safely, and I'm regretting my decision to come and get her. My daughter is a lot calmer by the time I get there, but still very clingy towards me. We set off again. My daughter quickly fell asleep in the back, and I had the radio on a low sound, but still intelligible. As I pulled onto the motorway again, the radio started going glitchy and static. I just kind of left it as it was, expecting it to pick up again soon. Suddenly it starts blurring Nirvana and weirdly loudly as well. Obviously a top 40 station wouldn't be playing Nirvana in 2020, so I assumed it was just interference and a rock station had took over. Bit weird, but it happens. I kept playing it and didn't give it too much thought, until the song ends and suddenly starts telling me the latest news headlines in Reno, Nevada, some random American city I've never heard of. It definitely wasn't a UK based station for Americans in the UK, or something like that. It was telling me local news and the clearly American presenter then started on a tangent about some event that had been cancelled in the city due to the virus and how disappointed his wife and kids were about it. I was dumbfounded and just carried on listening, wondering how the hell this was possible and when it was going to cut out. Eventually it did, just as it was about to pull off the motorway again. It must have been on at least 5 minutes. After it cut out, the local top 40 came back pretty instantly. I got home a few hours ago, and my daughter has thankfully slept well. But I haven't. I read online radio stations can travel further at night and bounce off the atmosphere. But Nevada? Why would I be hearing that in Stockport, England? Perhaps if it was a station on the US East Coast, it might have made a slight bit more sense. That way it would have been able to jump across the Atlantic 
and not the entire continental US as well. That, along with the weird time lapse, has definitely given me the feeling that the atmosphere was not right on that motorway. I can't stop thinking about it. Edit. The pop station was called Capital FM Manchester on 102.0 FM. I don't know the name of the US station. It was never said. I don't know how radio works, so I can't say whether that station also needed to be on 102 FM for me to pick it up. I assume so. Personal Thoughts This is a novel type glitch. It almost gives me the impression that some kind of alien activity is involved. That's often what happens when you have time lapses, especially while driving. A lot of people report that. They're missing time, and then later on they find abnormalities on their bodies, markings or bruises that they didn't have before. And in this case, with the radio playing a station that was thousands of miles away across the Atlantic Ocean, well, what could cause that? You'd have to have a source that was amplifying a signal so far away. Perhaps aliens could do that, although why? I doubt it would be intentional, perhaps some kind of unintended consequence of their technology. But this would definitely keep me up at night too. <laughs>